This is by far the number one question I get about legal transcription, so let's get into it. For anybody who's new to my page, my name is Deanna. I've been a legal transcriptionist for the last six years, and now I'm here on TikTok talking about the profession and some of the pros and cons of it. If you're interested in getting more information, please go over to my bio and hit that follow button. I am on a road to hit 50,000 followers by the end of the summer, and I would appreciate so much if you could help me with that goal and hit that follow button. The number one question I get asked is if I could go back six years ago and tell myself something that I've learned now in hindsight, what would it be? I've thought long and hard about this question. I thought it would be something practical like, oh, you should use your commas like this or something like that. But really, it's much simpler than that. So I'm going to show you what it took me six years to learn in about 30 seconds. And the biggest thing that I would say that I wish I could bring to my past self is to just be a lot more patient with myself. I think the issue stems from the fact that a lot of people that come into this profession are very high functioning. They're moms that do a million things. They're high functioning at their job. I know for me at my job, I was always like the yes man. Even people from other departments would bring me their work because I'm competent and capable and efficient. So when I sat down and started doing legal transcription, I hit walls. I wasn't immediately good at this thing and it kind of blew my mind. And so there was a lot of times I really wish I could just slow myself down and give myself the grace to learn in the right way rather than just ramming my head into the wall trying to get through the process as quick as possible and realizing like years after the fact that I was doing things wrong from the beginning. So no matter if you're in the midst of learning legal transcription and experienced legal transcription or you haven't even heard about legal transcription, a really good piece of advice that I could leave you with is that whatever you think you know, whatever your strengths are, for example, my strength was in my typing speed, but I had really poor punctuation. So I could leverage the fact that I was a fast typer, but it didn't make up for the fact that I still had to learn this skill. So for example, you might be really great at punctuation and grammar, but maybe you don't have the computer skills. And this is a job where you're going to be working independently at at home on your computer so you're going to run up to some troubleshooting efforts that you're going to have to learn to do so everybody comes to this career with different abilities and it's really important to hone in on what you're good in and know your strengths and if you're a fast learner and all of those things but it's really important to know okay these are the things that I struggle with I need to give myself grace and give myself time to be able to absorb those things so if you feel like you're hitting a wall or you're just hearing about legal transcription and you're like I have so many questions that is totally okay everybody had those questions I had those questions and that's why I'm here on TikTok talking about it so if you guys want more information you can head over to the link in my bio I have some frequently asked questions as well as the equipment list and the training that you'll need if you have any questions you can drop them below in the comments and maybe you might get a video response thanks so much for watching i appreciate it